Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how you can install my dot files of my Hyperland and QTile configuration on your system. The starting point is a fresh Arch Linux and QTile installation, but you can also install my configurations from other desktop environments like GNOME or KDE. I will show you how you can clone download my dot files from my GitLab repository and how to run the installation scripts that are included. In the last couple of days, I spent a lot of time to test this installation procedure and it works fine on all of my test environments. But of course, Arch Linux is individual and I cannot guarantee that everything works fine everywhere you will learn how I manage my dot files on my system. I have a dedicated directory called dot files and I'm not using directly the general dot config folder. I'm using symbolic links. And with symbolic links, I have the full flexibility and full control what I want to upload to my GitLab repository. And it gives you the flexibility to add your personal configurations to my configurations without any risk. If you like my dot files and if you like that video, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel. Let's jump in. I'm here on a base Arch Linux installation with Xorg and the window manager Qtile in a fresh installation. Let's start the terminal with super key return and the first thing that you should do to make sure that your system is up to date with sudo pacman syu. There are several updates available on my system and I install them. Let's clear the terminal. You have to make sure that git is installed on your system to get access to my repository. To install git, you enter sudo pacman dash s git. Let's clear again and we are ready to go. Let's clone my dot files. gitlab.com slash stefan dash rabe slash dot files dot git. The download has started and is already completed. So we can cd now into the new folder dot files. Let's look into the folder and you see here four installation scripts. The first one is the installation of the core packages that I need to run my configurations for Qtile and Hyperland. Then the installation of Hyperland core files or, or end the installation of Qtile. And the third one here, three dot files dot sh is then the installation of my dot files. Okay. Let's have a look into the first file with the wim one install.sh. And you see here that in the first step, the system checks if yay is installed. Yay is required to get access to the Arch user repository, to the AUR. After confirming then the start of the installation, those packages will be installed on your system. Pycom, Electricity, Rofi, and so on. Um, all the packages that are required for Qtile and Hyperland. Then for AUR packages, for Yay, Brave, Pfetch, a cursor theme, and Trizen. Then the script will ask to install my.bashrc with a symbolic link from the dot files folder into your home directory, followed by the installation of the custom issue. So means the custom login prompt for Arch Linux and the download of the wallpapers and then the initiation of PyWall. PyWall is a tool that selects colors from the wallpaper and then you can use it in your configuration files. Let's give it a try. Close it and start the script with dot slash one install dot sh. The installation of yay has started. I confirm the installation with y and here we are. 
yay has been installed successfully. And we can proceed with the installation by confirming the installation with Y. And now you can see that the installation of the packages has started. Okay. Now the script asks to install the .bashrc. That means that if there is already a bashrc in your home directory, this file will be removed and replaced with a symbolic link into the .files folder. So I confirm this with yes. And I also want to install the custom login prompt. Yes. And I want to install some wallpapers from my GitLab repository installation of the core packages is done and maybe you have already seen it that a color scheme has been installed with pywall let's restart the system with reboot and here you see already the custom login that we have installed with the script so i can log in and pfetch is popping up and I can start Qtile again with StartX. Now we can proceed with the second step, and this is to run the script slash to install Qtile. And this script will install Qtile, if not already done. In my case, it is already installed, but it will also install additional packages like Polybar, the status bar that I use for Qtile. Yes, I want to start the installation. And you see Polybar has been installed successfully. We start the installation of my dot files. Let's open the file vim three dot files. After confirming the installation, the script checks if the config, config folder exists. If not, it will create it. And now you see that if there is a file available in .config, the script will, will remove it and will replace it with a symbolic link into the .files folder. That makes it extremely flexible for you to use your own custom script instead of my configuration for selected applications. Let's run that script with dot slash three dot .files. You see it here, the script will ask for permissions to remove existing folders and files. You can always decide if you want to do this and the script will then install symbolic links into the .files folder. I want to install the Alacrity configuration, Ranger, Vim, NeoVim, Starship Prompt, Rofi, the Dunst service, Wall, templates for PyWall, the GTK theme 2.0, 3.0, the X resources file and the icons. Then the qtile.files. Yes, I want to install my qtile.files, the polybar, pycom, and the .x init rc. Hyperland, I will skip this for now. I will install Hyperland if qtile is available. No, 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 no. And the configuration files have been installed successfully. Let's give it a try by rebooting the system. Let's log in and start Qtile with StartX. And here we are on Qtile with my dot files. So let's see if everything works fine. Um, you see at the top, the style of the polybar is working fine. We have Alacrity configured correctly and we have the theme switcher with super key shift w you can randomly select a wallpaper from the wallpapers folder you see dunst that sends notification and you have rofi the application starter and let's start tuna and the gtk theme is also installed successfully let's proceed now with the installation of hyperland Let's cd into the dot .files folder again and start the script dot slash to install hyperlet. 
yes, I want to install it. And the packages that are required will be installed now. Also, this can take some minutes. Okay, installation is done of the Hyperland packages. Now we need to install the dot .files for Hyperland by running again the script 3-.files.sh. Yes, I want to start it. So the general dot .files are already installed, so I can skip this with n. GTK theme is also already installed. Qtile is installed. And now we come to the hyperland.files. Yes, I want to install it. And waybar, and swaylog, and w logout. So the configuration files for hyperland are now installed and we can reboot the system. Let's look in and start hyperland with hyperland. And here we are on Hyperland. Let's see if everything works fine. You see on top the custom waybar configuration. Let's open Alacrity. Let's open another Alacrity. Let's switch to the second workspace. So you see switching workspaces are working fine as well. Let's close Alacrity. Let's switch to another wallpaper, super key shift W. And the color scheme also adapts correctly. You see here colors from the wallpaper. Let's do this again. Very good. Let's open Alacrity again. And also here you see the colors from the wallpaper. So everything works fine. Let's exit Hyperland. Click on Logout and start again Qtile. And here's Qtile. So if you want to use your own personal configuration, you can do this by, for example, Alacrity. Let's cd into your home folder. Let's cd into the config folder. And you see on top the symbolic link into the dot .files folder Alacrity. And you can remove this sim link with remove Alacrity. And now the sim link is done. And now you can copy from the dot .files folder the Alacrity configuration into your config folder. And now you see you have here your own personal Alacrity configuration, but you are still using the other configuration files from the dot .files folder. And with that, you can open the folder Alacrity, open the Alacrity configuration file, and for example, change the opacity to 0.5. You can change the font size to 9 and you can save it and you see the font size has changed. That's it. Now you have my dot .files installed on your system and Qtile and Hyperland side by side. And this is also a great starting point for you, for your personal experiments to create your own configuration files. And maybe this encourage you to start also your own Git repository and upload and update and back up your dot .files there. But this will be covered in an upcoming video. Please note, my dot .files are changing all the time, yeah, because also on my side, I have a lot of new use cases, new requirements that I need to tackle. So it's a very dynamic process, but experimentation on Linux never ends, right? And with that, thanks for watching and see you next time.